In this video, we'll see different types of errors into your VBA. Whenever you use your VBA macros, what are the types of errors you'll get? Basically, there are three types of errors. First one is syntax errors, when you make some syntax errors, spelling mistakes and so on. Second is your compilation errors, when there are multiple lines and if you miss some keywords, there is the compilation errors. And the third one is runtime errors which you cannot figure out easily unless you execute, test it properly, only then you can find out. So remember three types of errors, syntax error, compilation errors, runtime errors. Let us see what is that one by one. Now in the file Excel VBA miscellaneous, developer tab, visual basic, and I'm in the file, the module named as F underscore types of errors. These are three different types of errors. I've just written the names. I'll explain you those one by one. Now, whenever I type here as message box, okay, you know this, this is the body text and then I can type the button styles. If I don't put the button styles, if I just put the body text, put a space and if I type something, some number and when I press enter, what happens is I'll get an error message which says Microsoft Visual Basic for application, compile error, expected end of statement, some error I've got it. I'll just click on okay. Now, this is nothing but a syntax error where you make some mistakes in the coding part. Okay, that is only for one line statement. Now, if you don't want, if you see here, again, if I press enter, message box, A, B, C, and so on. I'll keep on using the space. And when I press enter, I'm getting a dialog box. So if you want to disable this dialog box, you can do one method, click on OK, and I'll show you how to disable. You can go to tools, options and if you see there's an editor auto syntax check so if you uncheck that you will not get a pop-up window you will not get a message box click on ok now let us see again if the message box is still appearing message box a b c and something i'll put a space and when i press enter the color is highlighted in the red color that means it's an error but it is it will not display the message box it will not display the error message which was earlier reflected if you see, there is no message box. But the good practice is you should always keep that message box. So I'll just go to this tools, options, and I'll say auto syntax check and click on OK. So this should be always present. So this is what you call syntax errors. Now I'll delete this one. Now let's see the next one that is compilation errors. Now when you write some code, let's say if you write some for loop, for code, uh, if you i equal to 0 to 10, and you type here as message box i and by ex by mistake if you forget this example the next to close this thing how will it work sub a b c i'm just defining some sub procedure i'll delete this i'll cut this and i'll paste into this place right i have started this for i equal to 0 to 10 message box i but i did not write here as next now when I try to execute it, if I go for run button, this is the compile error, compilation error. So this is for without the next. So it will give you the example, give you the results, why it is failing because of for without the next. So you have to type here next, only then it will work. So what is the difference between syntax error and the compilation error? Syntax errors will work for only one statement, one single line at a time. Whereas compilation errors, it will work for more than one lines. So if you observe, yes, if and if loop, there is a for loop, while loop, do while loop and so on. So there are multiple loops, there are multiple select statements and so on. So for everything, it will work for compilation error, the second one. For single statements, that will be syntax error. More than one, there will be compilation errors. So I'll just close it. Let us see the third one, that is runtime error. So I'll just show you what is the runtime error. I'll first stop this. Yeah. So if I write here as a equal to or message box, by mistake, if I write as 5 plus 8, I wanted to write as 5, uh, 6 into 9, 6 into 8, but by mistake, I've written as 6 plus 8. So instead of multiplication, by mistake, there was a plus sign. This will not give you the error. It will execute. If you execute it, it will give you the answer as 14. If you see here, 14. So where is the mistake? This is only a runtime error. It can only be found out with the help of your testing or you can say debugging. If you have some requirement, you have to check it properly according to that. This will def definitely will not give you the error message, nothing it. So only you can, method is you have to just do the testing by yourself. This will become as runtime error. Instead of some uh, multiplication, if you put plus sign, division or anything, 
different signs. If there's a logical mistake, that will be a runtime error. It will not be counted under this syntax error and compilation error, right? So I hope you're able to understand three different types of errors, syntax error, compilation, and the runtime errors. That's all for this video.